Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last video, we started working on the Naboris Trials, and we've done two of the three so far, and our next one is apparently to sneak through the uh, Yiga base that we've been to in the past and retrieve an orb. He did tell me where it was. Uh, second floor storage area. Okay, so we're looking for the second floor storage area. We need to get the orb and chuck it into the pit. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what the in-world justification is for this other than it's a trial. I feel kind of mean. The poor Yiga just living their life, doing their thing, and somebody comes up and destroys their orb. What has come off society? I'm sorry, just just my headset. Right, so. Let's give this a good old college try. Got my sneaky armor on. Now, I remember a storage area. I don't know if it's the one they're referencing, but it is one. It, it, I mean, it had a bajillion bananas in it. Huh. Okay, then. I mean, if I can kill them all, this will be very easy. <laughs> but uh, that is not a given, given how difficult... This is as a fight. Oh, I think if I run and I just play on stasis, I can be okay. I think if I just play with stasis, I'll be fine. Two down. Got to you as well. The problem is you really can't take a hit from these guys. These guys absolutely shred in damage. And obviously when there's two of them, when I'm hitting one, the other can come and get me. Okay, 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 okay. This is working, this is working. Do I have a weapon that I'm happy to use here? Ugh, it's gonna be a spear, isn't it? Okay, okay. Now, if they don't respawn, we are in business. I've cleared out the entire room. And this is the major area. So, you know, that's, 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 <laughs> I'm not sure that's the intended way to do it, but it is a way to do it. Um, right. Where are the bananas? They're up there, aren't they? I don't know if I can get there from here. I don't think I can. We'll have a look. I think you need to go out of the room and turn right, if I remember correctly. Is it in there? Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's where I thought it was going to be. So I believe to get there, we go here and we go here. Lovely, lovely. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure this is meant to be like a sneaky challenge, but oh, I should have used my um, Naboris Lightning Charge. That would have been that would have done some good work in that situation, actually. Look, <laughs> this game is all about finding alternate ways to do things. Okay, and if that just means murdering everyone, then that's fine. That's what that's that's what society wants from us. Alright, you and me, ball. Let's get out of here. Let's go hit the town. See the sights. See the lights. Dum, dum. Look, look, look what I did, Mills. Look what I did. You're proud of me. He's proud of me. Mills loves me. Alright, I'm sorry, ball. We've had a grand time together, but now your time has come. Yep. <laughs> There's a brief moment of, that's correct, right? Like, please tell me I've not just thrown this away for no reason. Of course, that means it's shrine time. It's shrine time. 
It's so weird recording these on the day. So again, today is Tuesday. 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 <laughs> I'm pretty sure leave me alone. It is Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday, isn't it, mate? Um, wow, there's a shrine nearby. That's crazy. I really want to jump in the pit at some point. I think I just die. Kiro, Kihiro Mo. Um, it's leg day, although I'm going to have to delay it. I have, I'm just so pressed for time at the moment. I'm very excited about tomorrow. Tomorrow, say I don't record. I don't upload to this channel, so bear in mind. No videos tomorrow, no videos on Thursday. We'll be back on Friday. If we fill our next uh, bundle of five and our last five episodes of Breath of the Wild. We're going to have to get a move on if we're going to get everything done. Um, yeah. I'll talk about other things in a bit. What is this? What the heck? Is there a hole anywhere? Okay. Oh, no, I, right, I see. Okay, because we've done stuff like this before, I know what I'm trying to do here. I think what we're doing is trying to count how many of these there is. How many of these there are? How many of each colour there is inside of this? So I can see, I think, two orange. Let's do it one by one. It's going to make it easier. I think there's two orange. And I think there's one pink. And I think there's three purple. There's two weird ones in there. What are those ones in the middle there? I don't know. I see two green. There's definitely two green. I think there's two orange. Let me just rotate this all the way. I'm, I'm like proper flipping my entire controller here. Again, I can only see... I see three... I see four purple. I see four purple. I see one pink. I see two orange and two green. I thought there would be one that's a three. Oh, there's a five. Am I being rused? Might be rused. Right, I think that goes there. I think it was two orange. I mean, there's only four colours, so obviously you can't use... Oh. Oh, right, what? <laughs> Bear with me. I think I've got it, but we'll see. One of these. No, 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 no. Thank you. And two of these. Eh? Hey, there we go. The only reason I figured out what to do there is because we've done a puzzle very similar to this in the past where you had to, you know, count things. Um, and then, I can't remember what we counted last time. What was it last time? I don't remember. That was cool though. That's an intro. I like that one, actually. It could have been very frustrating if we didn't know how to solve it, of course. But there is our third Naboris emblem. Now you've collected three emblems, you must go to Divine Beast Van Naboris. Okay. 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 I'm very curious what's going to happen here. I'm hoping that this means Thingy's going to come back. Um... Ah, uh, Munda. Uh, <laughs> I can't remember her name to save my life. The Gerudo lass. Unfortunately, I don't think these count as shrines. Oh, hello. Obosa. Obosa. You guys okay? What are you up to? You threw the precious treasure down below. What were you thinking? I was thinking the game was obscurely telling me to do just that. You don't know my life. Uh, right, yes, to Naboris. Let's see what goes on. And then we do this another three times. <laughs> I'm assuming this is the, the chunk of the gameplay for this DLC. Somebody told me like two episodes ago, oh, you should do the DLC. It's really story focused. You're a dirty rotten liar. <laughs> like... Okay, what's going on? It's a suspicious rock. Ah, keys. Okay. Ah. Okay. 
To the one who approaches the divine beast, in the name of the goddess Hylia, I offer this trial. In exchange for Naboris' emblem, she'll be granted a chance to tread through the realm of memories. Okay, this is this is what I wanted, I think. Those who lack determination will find this trial unforgiving. <laughs> Do not take this place lightly, nor dismiss it as merely a world within your mind. The truth is much deeper than you know. Okay. I'm uh, dressed like a Gerudo. This illusory realm was created from the depths of your memories. The enemy you shall face is a product of the fear that dwells within. You must overcome this fear to proceed. This battle is a trial of the soul. You must emerge victorious using only the tools provided. Okay, so is this just a series of boss fights? Because I'm, I'm down for that. The game, Breath of the Wild, lacks boss fights. Just same boss again, though, isn't it? This was by far the hardest of the bunch, though. So, um, okay. How the hell? Right. Okay. I'm just. I'm just trying to remember the controls for some reason. Ah! Nearly. Oh, I got him. All right, let's um, let's have a little look. What we're okay? So we've got some food, shock damage resist, deficit vo set, Grudo armor for males. We've got the daybreaker shield. We don't have a. Oh, we've got a two hundred weapon and a one hundred weapon. Okay. Do I have a bow. I don't have a bow. I swear I'm blocking that and it's not working out. Break his shield! angry. Oh, I remember this. Ah! Okay, okay, we need, um, we need Magnesis. It's hard to see, man, because of this bloody illusory realm nonsense. Get him! Oh no! Yes, okay, we're okay. <laughs> my sword! My sword! My sword! My sword! My shield! My sword! My shield! Good job, that buddy. Ah! Ah! I just want to pick my weapon up.
Well, that didn't work at all, did it? <laughs> I was trying to break through. Dead, right? <laughs> That's a slight concern. Oh. My, my. For some, the best part of traveling alone is the freedom to get lost in thought with only the wind to distract you. Ah, wandering around here and listening to anecdotes about Champion Obosa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. This is why I felt inclined to roost here, near the divine beast Vanaboris, which Obosa herself mastered. Mm. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Obosa. Recall Naboris's Champion of Sand. Before she was lost to the land. Chief Obosa's heart was strong. <laughs> so the princess came along. Princess of Hyrule. I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, it seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the Calamity falls. Rudo Chief Obosa, on behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> Princess, you may keep your lives. Now go! <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. Sometimes I forget myself. And 
get lost in the past. Though she was a fierce warrior, the Gerudo chief was also a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. So, what do you think of Champion Obosa's song? By writing a song that honours the heart of Champion Obosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. I was struck by a realisation that the missing parts of the song can only be finished by the, my teacher's pupil, by me. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Okay. Now, of course, less time to recharge. That's really good. I mean, that's the best one. <laughs> so, that's really cool. Um, That was a good cutscene. I enjoyed that. So I guess that's what we're going to see. We're going to see Zelda's experience with each of the champions. Um, I don't know how I feel about the boss battle. I get the concepts, you know, put me in, like, with limited gear, see how we do kind of thing, so we don't have, like, the crutch, but they're not hard fights regardless, you know, so I don't I don't think it makes a difference. But either way. Uh, right, with that one done, it is time to move on. To the next one, which is ba 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 ba. Well, which one? Which ability do we care about? I probably Daruk. Daruk. Also, I like Daruk a lot, and I want his um his attention, <laughs> his um little 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 protection. Bloody Nora. So let's go. Uh, Daruk next. I'm feeling fairly confident now. That was the hardest fight in terms of um. I wonder how you dodge that attack. How do you just dodge? I think blocking is a silly idea. Uh, in terms of the Guardians, the um, <clears throat> Ganon forms that we fought, that, that, that was the hardest one. So I think we should be fine. Hopefully there's like a big boss at the end. The game desperately lacks for bosses. It really does. I always considered the bosses like... Kind of a state bosses and dungeons and stuff like that, they were kind of a staple of The Legend of Zelda. It's kind of just part of what made the series a series. And obviously, Breath of the Wild has done something very, very different, and it's been a fantastic game. But I do miss classic dungeons and I miss all the different boss fights. This game really doesn't have any of them five, I guess. I, there's got some little ones at the side, and obviously, we then fought the thing in the last video. Like, this DLC's clearly added some, but it's uh, it's not quite the same. I'm hoping if there's one thing that uh, Tears of the Kingdom brings back properly is proper dungeons, proper boss fights. It's cool to change up the formula, but you don't have to get rid of everything that we love, you know. All right, calm down, buddy. <laughs> it is this way, isn't it? Yeah, let's keep following the path. Although, I'm now realizing I'm not totally sure how I'm going to get up there. <laughs> um... I get there. Probably should have just gone from the Divine Beast, actually, now that I think about it. A little too late. Oh, I can hear Cass. Yeah. Yeah. It does help. Like I say, it comes back faster, but it still doesn't come back fast. Eh, it's about halfway there already. That is, for this one, because it is really strong, that is pretty speedy. The main thing I'd like to see added is the ability to, um... Like, I've got one... Wait, what's the elephant? Protection? Jump? Attack? What's the elephant? Oh, come back to life, I remember. Hey, Cass. Alright, next one. I applaud your courage in coming here. Are we gonna get all these done in time? How long did that... That took about an hour and a half, right? So I need about four and a half. It's going to be tight, folks. This is probably the last thing we have to do. I've got, we've got five and a half hours to finish this DLC. Yeah? Yeah. If we have to do an extra episode, we'll do an extra episode. Okay, that is clearly Death Mountain. 
All right, it looks like it. The greenery is distracting me once again. Hmm? Did that stone monument just start glowing? I suppose that proves I didn't imagine it the first time. Aww. Well, it says a traveler in the land of flames. Are you truly able to withstand the heat? No, it's not my business, but I'm rather concerned. Oh, it's you. It must be that you applied an ample amount of fireproof elixir. No. How about that? You must have a natural ability to withstand intense heat like the Gorons. As for me, I don't use fireproof elixir. I go from a bard to a baked bird. Well, never mind my musings. Look at that, there's one here too. One of the monuments mentioned in my teacher's unfinished song. Why does Cast not remember me? We've hung out so many times. <laughs> I think I've spent more time with Cast than any other NPC in the game. I wonder if my teacher ever contemplated this very song at this very spot. The song my teacher left behind, there's a verse about the trials that champion Daruk. What did I call him? Anyways, allow me to sing it for you. Feel free to ask permission, buddy, but whatever. Crawling flame on a mighty peak. Rudania's champion, never weak. The hero's power shall grow. Music's actually beautiful. See trials, monuments show. One, stop a titan of molten stone. Okay, we've got another boss. Two, follow rings of light alone. Three, survive lava's fiery fate. Mm, champion, trials await. It takes about two seconds of music like that to make me feel super mel melancholy. <laughs> Asking around about the champions of each region, I started to piece together the key verses of the song. I can imagine it vividly. The champion's vigilance from 100 years ago. My teacher advised that to write good songs, one must travel the world and meet lots of people. That's why I spend my days afoot talking to anyone who will listen. I was lucky enough to meet with Yenobo and Bludo in Gorin City, both who knew much about the champion. They were regaled me with rather interesting stories. I'm certain the stories they shared will help greatly in my efforts to accurately write the song's key verses. Alright. Let's have a little look here. First of all, let's go to this one. We don't need it anymore. Bum, bum, bum. Da, 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 dum, dum. Dum 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 da 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 dum da dum Okay get a bit closer maybe oh, I should be a lot closer than all these actually now that I think about it Why am I not like here? Surely that makes more sense. Okay Let's see what we can do. Let's get rid of these ones first. Okay, I mean, that is clearly the mountain, right? It's got this kind of telltale, bitty sort of ness to it, where it's sort of round and bubbly, and then the lava's streaming along it. So it should be about there. Let's have a look. So, the rings, another but I think they've all got like a boss battle of some form. Hopefully they're unique ones, because that was pretty cool. That's a nice idea. And then, what's the other thing? Survive the fiery fate or something? Hmm. Hey, Rudania. How you living, buddy? Okay, so we want to go this way. Ah. Wishing I hadn't used all of my Rafali's grace. <laughs> it would have come in handy, to say the least. This one's got to have a fairly chill time on it, yeah? As long as she's got decent stamina, it shouldn't be that bad. As long as you don't fall into the lava, it shouldn't be that bad. Run! Oh, do I have to restart? That makes sense. <laughs> okay, no fiery pit this time. That's the deal. I'm not saying it's a good deal, but it is the deal. Uh, 
Urbosa's fury is ready. Yeah, that was pretty speedy. I wonder how long that took. I'd like to. I'd be curious to see if this uh, time is online. I'd, I'd just like to see the actual numbers, you know. This one just confused me because I expected it to go forward, and obviously it didn't. It turned to the right. Okay. Okay. You don't want to miss this, do you, though? Ooh. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Thought I'd mess, I thought I'd messed that last one up. Good job, Link. We did it, buddy. No, I did it. You're just kind of a cipher for what I achieve. Cipher, sorry. Dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Hello, beautiful. All right, Sharrow Rune. It's funny though, we get all these abilities, like all these plus abilities. That's that's great, that's super useful. Except, you can only, I get why you can't do this until you've done all the Divine Beasts. I understand why that's a thing, completely. But, <laughs> this is like, Unless you did this before fighting Ganon, which a lot of people won't have done because obviously they went and um, this is post-game DLC. This came out after the game came out. Um, okay. Um, like they're not useful abilities. <laughs> like, why do I need them? <laughs> what am I gonna fight other than the enemies in the DLC? You know what I mean? This is interesting. We haven't. I, I just like seeing new things. Like we haven't done this before. This specific combination of activities that we're doing right now is a new one for me. Okay, now we need to drop and then sit on top. Was chill. Did they plumb off an edge at the end? I think so. Okay. Oh, spiky one. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, let's give it a go. I'm enjoying these a lot more now that I have HP. <laughs> I don't have to go outside again and all that kind of jazz. Felt unnecessary. My bow, my beloved Savage Lionel bow. I've only got one good bow left after this, I think. It's my times five one that I'm never ever going to use, <laughs> ever. Okay, one more to go, probably. You should just assume absolutely everything in a video game is like a, a rule of three kind of thing. People love threes. Three is by far the most popular number in video games. I wonder what everyone's favorite number is. Like if you had to poll the entire world, hmm, what is the average favorite number? I think this is what I'm meant to do. Because I don't see a way to get through that. Because you can't hang on the underneath, can you? So I think I need to... Hey, buddy. I need to jump over like this, wait until it gets around the other side, and then jump over. It's Flame Blade! Bow, 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 bow. This will work, right? I don't see why it wouldn't work. Guess we'll find out. Sweet. Okay. Then we need to jump off over here and climb our way to the top, and we should be good.
Don't half make it far riskier than it has to be sometimes, I tell you. Did it, gang. One down, two to go. I feel like I've settled into it a little bit more now. It took it took 62 hours, but we got there eventually. I was so bad at this game when we first played it. So bad. I don't know if I I don't know if I would say I'm good at the combat now either. I feel like we've got enough stuff that I can kind of just like it's not a hard game particularly. It's it's more like a puzzle thing, you know, like with the last boss, the the the, the sandwormy boy we fought in the last video. It wasn't difficult once you knew how to kill it. You just had to figure out how to kill it, and it took some damage along the way. On, like, a normal straight-up fight, I feel like you can kind of just brute force your way through everything. You've, you you kind of don't have to learn how to fight properly. However, there is, of course, Master Sword mode. Is it just Master mode? I think it's just called Master mode. Where you get a lot less health and everyone's going to try to murder you, so. I'm sure that is uh, more what I would be looking for. Let's go over there. Let's go over there. I assume the EX means extra, as in DLC. Could also mean extra as in, girl, you're so extra. I doubt that's the case. That's probably not a... Could mean extreme, because it is all pretty extreme. Could be excommunicated, if you've been a bad priest. It could be exterminate. It could be exaltation. Exaltation is a good word. Big fan of exaltation. Could be excrement. It's quite a lot of words with VX. Let's continue the list. Could be <laughs> exists or exit. Excite or excitement and excited. I'm just practicing my Scrabble skills right now, basically. <laughs> I've never been great. It's weird. My vocabulary is pretty good, generally speaking. I used to read a lot, I used to write a lot, yada, yada, yada. But Scrabble just, it never worked in my brain. Like, I could have a fantastic vocabulary. I could have the best vocabulary in the world. I could know every word in existence. And I would still be playing dog half the time. <laughs> I feel like a lot of my knowledge is just very... Did I already come up here? Very hidden away, in a, in a way. You know, it's, it's, it's all there, but unless something sparks it, it doesn't really come to the forefront that easily. I definitely came here before. What's going on? Little confused. This doesn't double up or anything, does it? No. I'm lost. What? Wait, is it because I'm on the wrong quest? I might be actually. No. I'm an, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just realized what I've been doing wrong. <laughs> I forgot that they're not marked on the map. I have to find them. herp derp Right. Okay. So that's that one done. Okay. So. What is that in the top left? That looks like a skeleton. It's like a ridge that then points into the lava. I think it's there. There. I'm gonna. I'm determined. I had to cheat last time on the third one for um, Naboris. I'm determined to not cheat this time. Again, it's one of those things that I think you just get better at as you do it a little bit more, you know. Bump, bump. Oh, we have to do one more shrine. I can't have seven orbs remaining. That's just silly. That's silly. I'm not fond of the silliness. Oh, pick the terrible, <laughs> terrible place to come. <laughs> right, is this going to work? <sighs> okay. Just going to, just going to do a logical thing here. <laughs> Let's just use our brain, if only slightly, <laughs> temporarily. Oh yeah, so I did my I did my I did my 90 kilogram bench press yesterday, five by five. 
So next week, 92.5 kilograms. I think I could do over 100 kilos now on my one rep max. I think it's probably around 105, 110. But I've never really got the point of knowing your... So your one rep max is in... You can do one rep. It's the heaviest you can do, but you can only manage a single rep and then you die, basically, right? So goes without saying that's what a one rep max is, right? Um, people are, like, really big on their one rep max. Like, it's an important thing. And it's it's not, frankly. It's The only use in it, really, is A, showing off, which is why most people care about it, and B... So if you know your one rep max, let's say you know the heaviest you can lift on a bench press is 80 kilograms and then you're working out for the first time in a while. From there, you can work out what your working weight is going to be. Let's say 60 kilograms for five reps instead, something like that. You know what I mean? You can use your one rep max to work out everything else, relatively speaking. But anyways, so like people say, oh, yeah, I lift blah, blah, blah. And like, no, you don't. You do one rep. <laughs> I do 25 reps. Leave me alone. <laughs> anyways, the point is I did 90 kilograms, five by five. So 25 reps total in five sets. It was it was hard work. It was hard work. Although I nearly... So what you tend to do on the fifth set is you do what's called an AMRAP, as many reps as possible. And when it comes to the super heavy weights, I don't tend to AMRAP. I'm not AMRAPing the bench press or the overhead press or the deadlift or any of these anymore because just managing the five reps is, is hard work. You know, it's requiring a lot of energy, a lot of... It's requiring everything I've got, basically. Um, but... On the bench, I I was going to push for a sixth rep. I was tempted by that sixth rep. And then my dad grabbed the bloody bar to help me out. Because usually we only do five. We never go for six because it's such hard work to get there in the first place. But I was feeling it. But that does make me confident about the... Um, the uh, 62.5... Uh, 92.5... Can you come over here, please? I can't really do anything while you're over there. Say my welcome. In case I get bashed off. Because all it takes is one bash off and I'm in the lava, and I don't know if, what that would do, but it might just fail the entire fight. I'm gonna try to do it in three. You know, I knew it, I knew it as well. I was just about to get off. I was just about to climb off. Is that gonna reset the whole fight? Oh, never mind. Oh, come on! <laughs> That's a little harsh. Oh, that stamina. I don't have any full heal ones anymore, do I? I mean, I've got full heal. I don't have any um, extra health ones. I mean, oh, Lionel. Easy does it. Easy does it. Easy does it. Did a gang. That's pretty easy. Remember how difficult they were at the start? That very first one we fought in Hyrule Field absolutely whomped me over and over again. It's always a nice thing because you don't level up in this game. You don't get new skills. What the hell? <laughs> you don't get new skills. You don't level up. You don't get experience. You don't get new stats or anything like that. You get new equipment. And you become a better player. And um, I really like that as a progression system. Because... Uh, because it's the difference in just being a good player. I know I talk about Dark Souls a lot, but I'm going to talk about Dark Souls again. If you play Dark Souls for the first time and you do level 1, you are going to get smashed a few times, probably, in the Undead Berg. The very first time you play it, especially if you're relatively new to video games. But then you come back at, like, the... If you've 
complete the game and you replay the game from the start, you'll find that first area super easy. It can still punish you if it wants to, and it will, <laughs> but um, you can finish that first area really easily because you have become a better player. And that's the kind of progression I really like in some ways. I really like XP and skill points and stuff as well, don't get me wrong, I love XP and skill points. But you'll become a stronger player just by playing the game. I mean, that goes without saying, but some games are much better at pushing that than other games. Okay. Um, let me use this because it's rubbish. Right, we're going to do this first time. It's going to be amazing. You ready? What did I say? What did I say? <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Just wait until it comes... Don't go up. What are you doing? <laughs> Get back here. Thank you. All right, wait until it starts to move down again, then we're hitting. Oh, it has to be in the middle. Oh, go quick, go quick, go quick. Fire! Pew! I was going to say, that can't be it. <laughs> uh, there's, there's obviously more pain to come. There's always more pain to come. I know there's a chest over there. I don't know if I get it on this one or if I get it on this one. Oh, wait, what? Oh, hello. I see you over there. Okay... Interesting. Oh my god, I hate this fucking thing. <laughs> I really hope this is not into this is the, the one part of this game I really actively dislike. Yeah. Alright. No, tilt no the other way. I just I can never know which way it's going. Right there. So that's about why I want. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but thank you for that game. Um, do I have to, no, I don't, I don't know what I have to do. <laughs> Will that work? Guess we'll find out. Cheeky little blighter. Not a shot like that, it won't. I was hoping that might magically roll all the way down, but not the case. Um, it seems like the logical thing to do, but is there another way to do this? Maybe we can just get the angle a bit. Oh, for God's sake, right. Let me just lift my controller up. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> can I not just not use... Can I just please use the bloody analog stick to do this? Why are you making me suffer like this? It's so mean. I feel like you have to, I don't know, I just want to do a few more testers, but I do feel like you maybe have to use that somehow to, to make it work, you know? My shot is way off. I don't, I don't think that's going to work. It just had to be one to punish me, right? It was going so well, it was so easy, and now I can't bloody do it. <laughs> oh, it resets every time. Okay, so how would I... 
How would I... I can't see a way to, like, leave it in there. That way. The problem is as well, like, my controller is now in the most awkward position in my hands. Like, it's just... Okay, I think, actually, thinking about it... Okay. Eh. 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 No. Oh, God damn it. No, not that way. That way. Thank you. My controller gets into such an awkward position, and then I can't hit the B button. You should see my fingers right now. They are just so incredibly awkwardly placed. Okay, I think... I, I want to stop. There we go. Okay. Let's give that another go. Whew. Hate, 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 hate. Deep, unabiding hatred. My god. <laughs> this is not a fan. I'm a master, do I? No. Really don't like having to use the motion controls at all. In case that hasn't been obvious somehow in this entire playthrough. They're just so finicky. I swear in the past. No, I couldn't. I remember in the past I thought I was using the analog sticks and it turned out it was using the motion controls like the first time we ever did it. And I didn't realize it was using the motion controls and it it was when I was trying to do the um the orb maze one I think. One last one to go. So it seems it's always a a ring one, a boss and then something a little bit different. And this last one is something about surviving the fire. If you can get done in the eight minutes, we make a time on this one. We've, we've been a lot quicker than the last one for sure. I'm feeling more confident now that we'll get it all done, you know. Right, but before we say any of that, let's make sure we can actually find this last one. So, we're looking for a river that ends in like a hard stop on the left, above like a normal river. So the fact that it's above a normal river would suggest to me it's like down here, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. That. Okay, good at this. <laughs> right, let's go from. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Let's go. Do you reckon that's gonna be tall? Yeah, that'll give me that. I think it's there. I haven't really checked this one. I'm like, I'm getting a little bit cocky, clearly. <laughs> so, I could be way off base. I don't know. But yeah. So, anyways, 90 kilogram bench press and 145 kilogram deadlift for five reps. But the deadlift is hurting so badly. And then today's leg day. Usually I'd have started it by now, but I'm just... Oh, whoa, whoa. Woo, woo, woo. I just turned my headset on by accident. All the way... Usually it's on, like, maybe 20% volume. Maybe 30%. And I turned it up to 100 by accident just as that noise came through. That was terrifying. Jesus Christ. That's still too loud. I want, like, 20%. All those gigs when I was younger have um, ruined my hearing, I swear to God. Where am I going? I get distracted by the yellow marker every single time. It's not what I'm here for. But uh, yeah, today's leg day. My first leg. I'm a little apprehensive because last week was deload week. And I, was, I just did a little bit of work, you know, just to keep the blood flowing and to make sure my muscles were... They knew they still existed. And it's gone well this week. I've done the 90 kilogram deadlift. I've done 145 kilogram... 145 kilogram deadlift, 90 kilogram bench press, and those were two that I'd failed on two weeks ago. So, you know, I've made progress since I came back, which is great, especially because the weights are getting heavy now. Um, progress isn't really something I can keep taking for granted. Are you the enemy that I'm looking for? No, surely not. I'll be with you in a minute, buddy. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Bear with me, bear with me, <laughs> bear with me. I don't really have, like, a rubbish weapon. Wait, Guardian Speeds are really good against these, aren't they? Guardian Weapons are really good against Ancients. Um, Guardians, like, I believe. No, it didn't. Look! Yeah. Oh, 
That wasn't part of the challenge, was it? That was just... Oh, you're not dead. That wasn't part of the challenge, right? That was just stuff hanging around. I don't think we'd have two combat challenges. No. Thank you. Okay. I mean... I've put the marker on a skull. This is rather... Oh, there's a... I mean, there's a pinwheel. Um, am I sh I'm not I'm not that sure about this anymore. <laughs> also, how am I meant to do I have to do this really quickly. I still don't understand this, clearly. I thought that's what you had to do. Anyways, um, am I wrong? Am I, I, I feel like I'm wrong. I'm not wrong. I'm right. This is definitely the. This is definitely the spot. Oh wait, no, is it? Oh, maybe it's not. Oh, I don't think it is. It just looks very similar. I've come to the wrong place. Interesting. Okay. I think it's up there. Here, I think it's here. Mm, that doesn't look like it either, though. Am I sure? It's it's so similar in some ways. Cuts up there. Oh, it must be. Well, no, no, no. It is the right spot, but I'm in the wrong spot. It's up here, isn't it? It's there. That's why I don't I don't know what to do with you. Nope, nope. Love it. Wait, why did I come here then? I don't know. I don't. I just misread the map entirely. It's still the right area, though. I'm pretty sure on that. Oh, Rivali. Come back, Rivali. I should have done Rivali next. I should have prioritized this on which ones I find the most useful. And Rivali's would probably... In terms of actual use, Rivali's is probably actually the best. In terms of making battles easier, obviously, Naboris is the one you want. Mifas is probably the least useful. Because how often do I die, you know? When I die, it doesn't tend to be to enemies. It tends to be to lava, for example. <laughs> or falling off things and stuff like that, you know? Guess I'll go up here. Oh, this is the challenge. Okay. What are we doing on time? Mm. Let's see. Bump it up, brother. It's the fourth girl. Blood brother. He who somehow survived our famous gut check challenge. Do you know why champion Darut chose this place to train, brother? Neither do we, but as Goron Blood Brothers are gonna find out by completing the training ourselves. I'm sure this is some part of Lord Darut's secret Goron training champ training intense. We're gonna do all we can to be mighty Gorons just like Lord Daruk. It's the only possible path for the Goron Blood Brothers. Feel the burn, brother. You see that glowing ring in the lava? Think of it as a target and stand on the lava. Okay, so sweaty, brother. Even Gorons can't walk on lava. I wonder if Lord Daruk really did this training. Not that I doubt doubting, brother. <laughs> no wonder Lord Daruk chose this spot. It's hardcore, brother. The training's gonna be rough. I can almost taste the gains. It's time to trash chise, brothers. How are you gonna do it? So sweaty, brother. Standing on lava is impossible. Help me. Feel the burn, brother. Glowing ring and the bonus end there is intense training. Hard as a hardcore. Okay, right. Step one. I see a metal box. <laughs> So never mind, step one has changed. <laughs> step one was going to be, let's just go on there and see what happens, you know? Hmm, I wonder if I have to... There's another metal box up at the top. I don't think I can reach from here. Okay, what I'm going to do... Can I jump on this? It seems fine. It seems safe. <sighs> there is another metal box up near that Lizolphus. I'm thinking I might need to use both and kind of like finagle them back and forth. I'm going to go grab the other one. There was a Lizolphus. I'm not crazy. There was a Lizolphus up here. There it is. Hate you so much. 
In theory, if you have two boxes, you can do anything, right? In theory. What if this is close enough, actually? Let me see. Oh, yeah, okay, there we go. Now I just need to get back alive. <sighs> okay. Oh, maybe I need both boxes on there. Because it sinks in. Eh. Nah. <laughs> uh, right, we'll do this in the next video. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to get over to that middle bit. Um, climb up there. Go into there. Go into there. It's probably fine. Guess we'll find out. Thanks for joining me. Cheers. Oh, let's eat up actually before I forget. Um, yeah, that'll do. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much as always. Bye-bye.